Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Kirby Enthusiast. Um, for those of you that are new to the, this channel, make sure you check out the other episodes and make sure you hit that like and that subscribe just to keep you updated and ding the bell for notifications of new videos that are coming up soon. Um, as soon as I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to start doing competitions and giveaways. So if we can get this channel going, get those subscriptions in, the sooner we can get these competitions going. Hi oh guys, welcome back. I hope you hit that subscribe button and ding that bell for notifications. And so, what we're going to do is today, um, I had a few uh, messages via a Facebook site, which I will share down below for those of you who aren't registered on the Kirby web pages. Um, someone complained that their Kirby was burning out belts and they were getting a smell. Okay, so what I'm going to do is zoom in on the issue. I did show a little bit in another, compared in another video, but I'll just show you what the actual cause is, the actual issue. So, yeah, here we go. So, guys, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd just show you the curvy head or the power nozzle, as it's known in the in the book. So, what's happening with, with people and why they're having this issue is they're changing the belts. Okay. So, back. Okay, so they're changing the belts. So, to change the belt, this is double up as a belt change as well. You literally take this off, okay, and then you pull out your brush roll. Now, what people don't notice or know um, is that your Kirby brush roller is adjustable, okay. So, as these brush rollers wear, you can adjust it down one notch. Um, I will show you when I put it back in how to check whether your brush roller needs changing. Um, obviously, these will last you 10 15 years, if not longer, okay. So, what you've got on the side is you've got numbers okay so if you can see that you've got a number one you've got a number two and you've got a number three and that's on both sides so again show on this one so you've got a number one a number two and a number three so when you first get your Kirby okay when you first get your Kirby it will be set to number one okay now what's happening is when people are putting them back in they're not looking at these and seeing what number it's on before they take it out so they're just assuming it, it doesn't matter which way around it goes because they don't know it's adjustable so what's happening is what they're doing is putting it back in on number two or number three and i'll demonstrate what happens so if we look we'll put it back in on number one and then i'll show you the difference between one and three so this is number one, number one. So we'll drop that back in, like so. Okay, push it down, push your belt down, and we'll put this on here. Okay, we'll lock that off. Now, what you do is you get a ruler. Um, I haven't got a ruler, so I'll just use this Kirby card here, okay? So when you put that on, you can see that's set up number one. And if I zoom in a bit, you can see that, that is just up to the photo. So it's about two or three mil, about two mil, two and a half. All right, so then what I'll do now is I'll take it out, okay? And I'll put it in as if I've changed the belt, and we'll put it straight to number three. So we'll go number two, number three, and same on this one, number two, number three, which is there, okay? There is another setting, but that's not an actual setting, and, it, and you know if you put it in that way because it goes quite stiff and it's hard to get out. All right, so you will see now on number three, you can see the difference, it's a lot tighter to there, the belt's literally nearly touching that. Okay, but now when we put our card on again, you can see that that is way past the picture by at least another three mil as well. So what's happening is that when you when you put that on, that then that brushes, then brushes are burying deep into the pole of your carpet. And they can't turn, so what happens is this little light here flickers, and then your your belt is just is spinning, okay? And that that's the burning smell you get in. So what you've got to do is make sure that when you put your belt brush roller back in, 
Okay, again, I'll go through it again. We'll take it out. Like so. And we'll switch it back to number one. So there's number one facing up. And on here we've got three, two, number one facing up. Okay. And pop that back in. Okay. If you're wondering about the different colours, this will only go in one way anyway because you've got a bigger end and a smaller end. So this is a bit set back to number one. Okay, so then we'll just do our comparison again. Like so. And now you can see it's back down below the picture. Okay, and you can see here that belt's not as close to this bar as well. Okay. So if you wind it on the setting that isn't actually setting, that belt will rub on there as well. This will feel quite stiff when you lock it, when you put it back in. And when you try to get it out, you're gonna to have to get the belt and put it down one end to pull it back out. Okay, so again, just make sure that you've set your brush roller. To make sure that, that they're set at the right height, all you do is put a ruler across. If your brush roller is, I'll lift that up, but is flush, okay, then it's worn down. So all you do is drop it one notch, okay? But these are adjustable. You used to have a sign on the back here, so you'd have uh, red. I think it was, I think it was green, red, and then black. And then you, these would be obviously be colour coded on the ends, but they've just got numbers now. So just bearing that in mind when you're changing your belt, just to make sure you get your brush roller back in place. Okay. So. Okay, guys. Welcome back. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And I hope the, these videos are really helpful and really informative to you. That's my main goal here. Um, and I don't know, if you know a bit about my background, I used to work for Kirby in the UK, so I do know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe. And like I said, once I hit a thousand subscribers, we're gonna start running competitions on this channel. So let's share this channel, get the subscribers and get it going. And I'll see you guys next time.